The segment last year on Rampage has become one of my favorite segments I've ever done in AEW. It was a breath of fresh air because it was something that I've always wanted to address on television, but I wanted to make sure that it was fun, it wasn't serious, and um, I felt like it was perfect. Hit my music! Hey, 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 hey. Before you tell me to go and take a hike, my name is Holly Cameron, Miss Money on the mic. Hey, Bowens, baby. Pretty clear that you're into me. I don't think so. <laughs> Every bone is taken. If we teamed up, we'd be the hottest couple on TV. We'd go on the cutest dates and maybe have a family. All right, cut this. Enough of this nonsense. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Did you just say that you think I'm into you? Duh. <laughs> because I don't know if you can see my gear here, lady. I'm gay. I thought maybe it would get a uh, small hand clap, but the second I said I was gay, the whole crowd in Chicago stood up and they, they applauded and they started chanting, he's gay in the most positive way. It's a, one of the bigger moments in professional wrestling history in terms of just straight up representation. It was an incredible moment. Uh, you could see the genuine uh, happiness on my face. It's just, it's crazy. Very special. This is something that's almost beyond wrestling. It's the connection that we have with each other. And to be able to connect with you and hopefully help you in your journey as well has been the honor of a lifetime. If you would have told 16-year-old, 17-year-old Anthony Bones in high school who was toiling over sexuality, very confused, scared of what his future would look like, if you told him that this was going to be his future, he would not have believed you. Growing up, I had a very good childhood. I can't complain. I'm very, very fortunate to have great, great parents who love professional wrestling and supported me throughout the way and supported me in my coming out. Um, the one big thing that I was missing was someone to look towards for hope and for inspiration. As a closeted athlete, it's scary. It's very scary. It doesn't matter what sport you play, the college sports tend to be very hyper-masculine and you don't know how people are gonna react, you don't know how people are going to treat you, um, you don't know if you're gonna lose the respect of your teammates, if you're gonna lose the respect of fans, so that stuff weighed on me terribly. And then going into the professional wrestling world, which is even more hyper-masculine, um, and there wasn't really that many examples of successful out LGBTQ pro wrestlers out there that I could look towards and, and have some sense of hope. Um, it was a very, very scary feeling that kept me in the closet for a long time until um, I met my boyfriend, we made a YouTube video. What's up guys? My name is Michael Pavano and I'm currently here with my boyfriend, Anthony Bowens. I didn't think the video was gonna be seen. It ended up being seen by a lot of people. And once I, I understood I was in a position where I have a wonderful relationship, I have the support of my friends and family, and I had this unique opportunity to, to help other people like myself, other closeted athletes, and just people in general who are going through my struggles, um, I feel like I need to say something. And that was the moment I made the decision that I needed to, to come out. I think there was a point in time where I said, I don't want to be known as the gay wrestler, just a wrestler who happens to be gay. Yeah, that's, that's true, but also at the same time, I do want people to know. So I've been fortunate enough to be highlighted in the Out 100, in the top 100 um, out entertainers in the country, to magazine covers of Attitude Magazine, Gay Times, and 26 Magazine. Becoming AEW's first gay champion with the tag team titles in New York City with Max Caster, winning the trios titles at Wembley Stadium with over 80,000 people, the biggest scissor party of all time. Wembley, throw those scissors up! Scissor me, Daddy! This stuff is crazy. <laughs> like, I never thought 
like any of this would be possible. Of course, it's fun from a you know, personal goal standpoint, but also someone could pick up that magazine, someone could look at that list, someone can watch me on television and go, I feel validated, I feel safe, and now I have someone I can look towards as an inspiration for me to, to achieve my goals as well. And that's a very, very powerful thing. I think acceptance at every level, no matter if it's your sexuality, whether it's uh, your nationality, anything, we're all human beings. It's all very important to accept and love one another. Here at AEW, everybody's allowed to be themselves. They're authentically allowed to be themselves. I'm proud to be elite, and I'm proud to represent this company. And I think that also is important for people to see as well because there are plenty of uh, little boys, little girls, those who identify as non-binary that want to be professional wrestlers one day or they want to be in the entertainment or they want to play sports and they need to see that visibility, they need to have that representation so that when somebody looks on screen and goes, oh, Anthony Bowens did it, Anthony Bowens became champion, I could become a champion too. That is so, so important. And um, I'm happy to be at the forefront of that. My name is Anthony Bowens. I am the Scissor King. I am proud to represent the LGBTQ plus community. I am proud to be elite and always remember to keep spreading the love. You are loved. And most importantly, everyone loves the acclaimed. Happy Pride.